Coming up next on Channel 7 News at 5, a federal panel hands down its recommendations regarding the future use of silicone gel breast implants. We'll have details. And two teenagers are arrested after the alleged rape of a South Bay High School girl. Also coming up on the news next, we'll have a live report from Telegraph Hill on why that apartment building will continue to dangle dangerously for another week. And at 5.30 on World News Tonight, Pebble Beach is resold to another Japanese company. Our Far East investments going sour. We'll have all of that and more next on Channel 7 News at 5. KGO TV Channel 7, number one in Northern California. Now, Cheryl Jennings, Don Sanchez, Dr. Dean Edel, and Pete Giddings weather. This is Channel 7 News at 5. Good evening. The controversy over the safety of silicone gel breast implants has taken a new turn today. A turn that may affect nearly a million women. A federal advisory panel says the implants should not be banned completely but their use should be severely restricted. Tell us Lisa Stark joins us now with details, Lisa. Cheryl and Don, 80% of the women who get these silicone gel breast implants do so for cosmetic reasons. Under the panel's recommendation, they would no longer be able to use the devices unless they take part in research studies. Silicone implants would only be allowed for breast reconstruction for use by cancer patients or those with disfigured breasts. 